It's December 22nd, around 9, 9.30. We are we all... Night last night. Yeah, I, I got woke up by the wind at 2 a.m. and didn't sleep until 5-ish, 5, 6-ish. But I feel okay. We have a light day. We're just going to go to the cave and probably a little bit Guadalupe again and then head to where we're going to stay uh, today. Oh, uh, last night I wrote a summary and very then instance. very comprehensive because <laughs> I didn't, I couldn't sleep. I was thinking about that, and then I got a backpack this morning. That's a lot of water bottle. Yeah, we drink this much water, and there's more. Stay hydrated. There's more. I don't. I didn't know if they're recycling or not, so I just do it like this. And David says there it's gonna be a hassle for them to recycle, so probably not. Um, yeah. Uh, I think that's it. I will see you probably at the Cave National Park. What's the name of it? Carlsbad? Uh, Carlsbad National Park. Yeah. We're gonna go there to see bad caves. Bye, room. Much colder than yesterday. Okay, like it. the keys dropped off. And then we can go. Hello. I'm just dropping off the keys. Uh, 2.43, I think. Is it last name is under XU? Okay, thank you very much. Bye. Now at Central Time 10:35, uh, uh, 22nd of December, 1980, uh, 1980, 2017. 2017. And we're, we're heading to. We are, Carls we are departing the roadway in in White City, New Mexico. Now we are heading to Carlsbad Carven National Park. It should be about 10 to 15 mi uh, minutes drive. So pretty close. Okay. Okay. And the city is just like that. I want to show you. That's the city. There's a very cute building. That is it. That's the city. There's a very cute building. There's a cute building there. On the right hand side. Yeah. David just said all the cost goes into the inn and then they're gonna distribute the cost. Grocery, t-shirts, gift shop, restaurant. Restroom or restaurant? Restroom. And that's a gas station there. It's all there at post office. We can stop by on the way. Oh, and that is it. There's a white city. That's a castle. Oh, there is a restaurant. There is a restaurant, yeah. There is a sign. Uh -huh. uh, a National Park sign on the right hand side. Oh, those buildings are cute as well. This is near seven miles. We drove like to the sun. Oh, that's pretty close. Yeah, we drove like one minute, I think. You said this is a right? This used to be a sea? This used to be a sea? Yeah, the ocean or a sea? A sea. Bottom of the ocean. Bottom yeah, of the sea. It's the same thing. Okay, sea and ocean are the same thing? No, ocean is bigger. Yeah. But under this place, it's the same thing. Okay, and the, the, the peak we went to yesterday was they, the... They were the old reef. We're at the cave. Yes, and we just there's only self guided tour available. We're gonna do that. There's the elevator down there to the cave, and that's a ticket. It's basically bath caves. So uh, we just got the ticket. Inside the cave, it's 13 Celsius and 90 percent humidity. Now we're outside. That was the building we came from, and we're going to head down to the caves.
foot. <clears throat> Those buildings were built in the 1940s by the CCC. That's Happy taking a picture. Happy looks so cute today. We rented a device which looks like this, which will tell you stories about this building. Happy, come here. Toss. Right? Numino Toss. Yeah, this is the second stop which will which talks about the geography here. Number two, Numino Toss. The person over there, that's where the entrance would be. We're just gonna walk down. I like the walk. This is nice. It's way nicer than yesterday. Yeah, it was it's way nicer than yesterday and it's only three hours. I want you to be in the camera so we can be together. Happy together. I'm wearing hubby's humid jacket. Jacket, yeah. It's warm and I have down underneath it. Yeah. So we are plenty good. Yeah. We're covered. So remember always bring the down jacket. Yeah, in the always bring the down jacket, even if we're going to a warmer climate. Yeah. Yeah. We're about to go underground. And people are supposed to whisper. And it says in the summertime there will be thousands of hundreds of thousands of bats like rushing out. I really wanna see that. It's not summer. Don't go in winter. We're probably gonna come back in the summertime. Oh, and I saw snow. There's snow. Snow, snow in the desert. Oh, the cave is there. If I sneeze inside, everybody would hear it? Yeah, everybody would hear it. The entrance is near. I love those cactus. Yeah. He's so cute. See? Cactus there. Oh, that's deep. The entrance is near. It is near. It's getting colder and colder. It is. I'm glad I have the down jacket on. And it's right. darker and darker. Oh, look at this. In 1898, Jim White was a 16-year-old cowboy working on one of the local ranches. The story goes that one day he noticed what he thought was smoke off in the distance, so he went to check it out. As he got closer to the smoke, he noticed that it broke apart into little pieces. Of course, it wasn't smoke Jim was seeing. It was bats. He looked at the huge cloud of bats and the large gaping entrance and thought, if there's that many bats coming out of a hole that big, that must be one huge hole. I will went all the way down here. The first thing we have noticed is the smell and the humidity. It's super dark down there. I don't think we can see anything, but this camera is kind of picking up. So it's a nice camera indeed. Oh my God, it is picking up. Shanghujiao 这个洞的顶部有的就已经坍塌了，就形成了一个地上的凹坑，就是我们进来的进来的入口。This is called the twilight zone. Animals come here and fall into the cave, and they die. That's so scary. And bats come out from there as well. It basically says if you hear the drip sound, it means the cave is alive. The cave is just napping, so it changes very slowly. The surface water gets here in two months, like they spent two months coming down here. And I'm gonna stop talking so you can hear the sound of it. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Yes, it is. We went all the way down from there. And then it still goes down. It's crazy. It goes down to there. And maybe even further that we cannot see. Behind us are three giant ones. 
the largest. Wild and big. Ooh. They're huge. And this room is huge as well. Do you want a picture? You said you can't. We are leaving. Are you ready? Yeah, uh, we are taking the elevator. There are a lot of people. The revolving door is here to preserve the humidity of the cave. Is the elevator room. We are in the elevator room. And how deep are we? 700 feet. Get into the Another Rangers came down. And the elevator will show us the distance to the ground. Go ahead, please, sir. Did the up arrow there come out this inside the door? Inside there. Here we go. We're on the ground. How was the ride? Do you feel the air pressure? Yes, I do feel that. <laughs> now we are returning the what yep. Okay, that's it. cars in the front. They were driving super fast. David was once at 100 miles per hour. Do not put that in the video. I'm not gonna put it in, on the internet. I'm but just gonna... For my own record. See? Christmas decorations without snow is just uh, Halloween decorations. <laughs> with Christmas themed Halloween <laughs> decorations. <laughs> decent size. There are quite a few speed. It is a decent size town, yeah. Yeah, and thanks for the car two vehicles in the front. They let me safely. I like it. In point two miles, turn right on West Astor Street. They're gonna turn, follow them. Turn right on West Astor Street. And Hotel El Capitan. I think this is their main street. Recalculating. Oh, you turn. Through turn Broadway. right on East Broadway. It's okay. We can just see this street. Turn right on East Broadway. East this is their main street. It's called Broadway for Christ. Continue 1.3 miles till address 1805 
on right. This is where we are for tonight, the big six. More tower sexy. Mm -hmm. 